Hi guys, it's Molly. I got nothing on the table here. I got a few signs left. Let's see who it is. Let's see who is here. Who is this reading for? Let's see if I can get one to pop. Ooh, Libra, you shot right out. All right, Libra. Hi, Libra. My name is Molly. I am uh, Claire Audient Intuitive Empath. I'm just going to channel some energy and get the cards popping, and we'll see what they say. Um, it's going to, I sing, and I'm going to pop some piles, so it's going to take a minute. So if you don't have time, some people like watching the cards pop. They pop on their own. Uh, so it, uh, if you don't have the time to watch, that's totally cool because I'll put a timestamp down in the comments, and you can click on it. I'll bring you right to where I start doing the reading. All right. If you like how I read, you can join the Star Gang. We are, oh, we're in life lessons in a interesting and cool way. Uh, it's totally free. You can hit subscribe, hit a like if you like how I read. Thanks. Let's go. All right, Libra, Libra. What do the cards have to tell us for Libra? Here we go. I live by the ocean. And during the night, I dive into it, mm. down to the bottom, underneath all currents, and drop my anchor. This is where I'm staying. This is my home. Mm. I live by the ocean. during the night. dive into it. Final message for Libra. Underneath all currents and drop my anchor. This is where I'm staying. This is my home. Ooh. Libra, Libra, like we showed up. Ah, ah. Yay, the divine feminine and the wish. And the anchor of hope. Beautiful, Libra, beautiful. All right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, under the deck, unicorn, Libra. A unicorn is a magical person that jumps into your life and shakes it up in a cool and neat way. Cool. All right. Okay, Libra, this might be a little bit of a long one. Here we go. Let's do some more. And drop my anchor. This is where I'm staying. This is my home. Ooh, Libra, new adventures. What's going on? What's happening? All right, Libra, I'm going to clarify with the star in this. Mini pictorial. There we go. Cards. I'm just shuffling right off to the side here. These are kind of hard to shuffle anyway. Uh, I just don't want to blow the cards around. Okay, definitely in the zone, Libra. Let's see. Birdcage Libra. Full Cup Libra. Whoa. Reward Libra.
friend Libra. Dancer Libra. Crow Libra. Anchor Libra. Woman Libra. Wish Libra. Whoa, too many, too many. Oh no, I guess it's not too many. Hold it, read that. All right. Libra, I picked up my picture, uh, my picture cards, and my intense person card was on the bottom of the deck, and it stayed down on the table when I picked it up, and he was looking right at me. So this is my card for an intense person. You have an intense person in your life? Oh, and then when I did the split, I got the player. Hmm. There may be an intense person trying to decide if the other person is a player. This intense person may be used to seeing things kind of only in black and white. They might like your legs and think you have a nice booty too. <laughs> yeah, they do. Look at that when I split again. <laughs> Libra. Somebody is getting turned on. The intense person. All right. Birdcage Libra. Full Cup Libra. I live by the ocean. All right. Reward Libra. And during the night. Thread Libra. I dive into it. Down to the bottom Underneath all currents And drop my anchor This is where I'm staying This is my home Crow Libra, Anchor Libra, hmm. Woman Libra. Whoa, did you see that? The card, like stood up on its end for a second and then flipped down. Nuts! Wish, Libra. Somebody's thinking about somebody. All right. All right. Um, I think, do we do oh, one more and then we're done, Libra. We're going to use the mini gallery grand deck. Oh, birds are in the flow, bird cage, Libra. Yes, that was awesome. <laughs> Landed right on it, you guys. Oh, oh. And drop my anchor. 
This is where I'm staying. This is my home. And drop my anchor. This is where I'm staying. This is my home. Final. All right. Libra, Libra. Okay, 11.05. Okay, Libra, we're ready. Okay, Libra. The, uh, the Twin Flame card came out. I was wondering if this was a Twin Flame reading. I'm picking up Twin Flame energy like crazy. Um, all right, here we go. Libra, Libra. I'm just going to set it up and see what we got here. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, Libra. All right, Libra, here we go. Oops, let me bring it down. All right, Libra, here are the two people showing up. Both of these people have been released from the cage. So they're breaking free, independent, self-determined, experienced, and gifted. These people may be deciding on, I feel like it's like a new, they have, uh, they may have uh, figured out these, these twin flame, these people in this twin flame journey may be realizing that this is about uh, their gifts. It's about breaking free from burdens of the past. Sorry about my pain on my finger. Breaking free from burdens of the past and um, and healing and moving forward. We have the feminine showing up here. She has completed the journey. She is showing up pure. She is showing up happy, creative, innocent, wonderful. She has been illuminated. We have the masculine here. The masculine may be going through a dark night of the soul. The masculine may be going through an awakening right now. Or the masculine may be just be thinking of some sort of negative behavior that he did toward this feminine. Um, or just kind of in life. Because he is a hungry, hungry hippo. And a hungry, hungry hippo is showing up here. A hungry, hungry hippo is um, somebody that... Uh, hippos look really nice and really cute, but they're actually really mean and they snap and they're dangerous. But they're dangerous because they're a hungry, hungry hippo and they're snapping because they're trying to get love and they don't know any other way to get love. Like they've never been loved quite properly. And so they're just a hungry, hungry hippo. And this hippo is realizing this and it's causing some sort of pressure, which may, it may be an awakening, it may be uh, a change of mind, something along that line. Because there is extreme sexual chemistry between these two people. Uh, we have the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energy showing up. The spoon card for me is swirling energies, making out, kissing, getting it on, all that good stuff. And um, I really feel like uh, these two... This could be a close to a union if she's already um, enlightened and he's kind of in the process and there's all this passion and then it's it's kind of headlining with breaking free from the cage. Um, all right. 
Okay, awesome, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Look at this work this feminine did. Okay, we have the feminine showing up here as a full cup. This feminine is for sure um, some sort of light worker, some sort of spiritual person. It could be a, a very strong spiritual leader, something along that line. Um, okay, so we'll start with the full cup. We have the full cup here. This is a person holding their emotions. Uh, they are full. This person is balanced, wonderful. They are a North Star. This person is probably a light worker. This is the feminine. She has balanced her emotions. She is Poseidon. She um, lives by the ocean. Uh, this is her home. All right. This is a, my card just as a sign of the divine. Uh, keep in mind the divine is at play with this. This is divine timing for her. Here she is showing up right here. This is... Um, the feminine here, she may have some kids. This feminine is very resourceful. She can light the fire with her mind, with her resources, and warm her kids. She will always take care of her kids no matter what. This is a very comfortable person. Um, if somebody doesn't have kids, it would be somebody who would just be a very warm and comforting type of a person, a cool person. Because this person is protected by the white wolf. This is a divine person. This is somebody with special gifts. This is somebody who, uh, the white wolf, wolf is the most protective card of the deck. You absolutely can leave your baby with the white wolf because the white wolf is the most protective thing in the world. It will take care of you. And the white wolf is standing right next to this feminine. And then we have the past. So this feminine uh, can access the Akashic Records. Uh, these are the scrolls. This feminine can dip into the, into the past using her uh, abilities and, you know, uh, get whatever info, messages, whatever she needs and come back and uh, present it to the world. All right. Okay, we have the masculine here. Um, thinking about if these are, this is a relationship that the ma masculine absolutely understands that this is a divine thing. He's there right now uh, in the process. Uh, he is wondering if this is a reward brought on by the universe for him. Uh, this is the fish card. The fish card is serenity, intelligence, um, calmness, new beginnings. And this masculine is at a crossroads right now. So he's looking at serenity, intelligence, calmness, a new beginning. This may symbolize like a new path for this masculine if he hooks up with his feminine. This could symbolize the feminine to him, uh, all that kind of things. And he's pondering if this is a reward, you know, for both of them or for him to change his life. So he's at a crossroads. He can take this reward. Or he can just kind of do what he usually do, does or reverts to. And I say that with no offense. Uh, it doesn't have to be drinking. It, any sort of vice, anything that just masks um, facing true emotions. Because this feminine uh, lives by the ocean. And during the night, she dives into it. She lives by her emotions. And, and her emotions are very important to her. She has mastered them. She, she goes down to the bottom, underneath all currents, and drops her anchor because this is her home and this is where she's staying. Okay, so he knows she wants some sort of relationship that's a serious one. Okay, so we have the thread kind of... Um, 
crowning this whole next bit of the story. And the thread is bound, constrained, obligations, awkward, embarrassed, or uneasy. So there may be something that had happened between these two people that um, is being thought about. There may have been some confusion. Somebody may have confused somebody and they may have like uh, responded weird or something like that to this person. Okay. I think this is, um, I can uh, I think this is the masculine, the wheel, it might be both the masculine, I think that's what it is. I think it's the masculine and the feminine. Okay, so the wheel has turned. And then some rest has happened. Somebody may offer some sort of um, some sort of offer to rest, some sort of vacation, maybe something where you have to fly in a plane, something like that. It could be a, um, some sorts of sort of spiritual thing. Uh, whatever it is, it's a very positive thing. We have uh, the one person showing up as an eagle, really thinking uh, about what is the right thing in this situation. Uh, the other person is like arms out, uh, ready to hug, give a great big hug. Uh, we do have a commitment and uh, a commitment about resting. <laughs> so maybe that's why I think maybe it's like... Um, hanging out, going somewhere, maybe a vacation, something fun like that. All right. But something awkward or embarrassing happened before. All right, let's find out more. Okay, here they are. Here are the twin flames. They are showing up as a power couple. We have Paul, Bunyan, and Babe here. So there may be a age difference between these two people. Uh, both people need each other to work together for their optimal uh, life mission or whatever it is to make the most impact. They will uh, make the most impact wh while working together. And they both uh, respect each other and see each other as best friends. All right. So here are the two people. We have the dancer showing up. The dancer is surprise, joy, unexpected movement, manifesting in spotlight. So, uh, Somebody may, like, actually, you both probably manifested each other. You both are probably feeling like each other is the dancer to each other. And you're both feeling, probably feeling like you're the watcher. <laughs> because you're mirroring. So we have the dancer and the watcher. And so somebody has sparked somebody's interest. And it's like, oh my gosh, look at what the universe has handed over, has sent my way. Something along that line. And this dancer is... An enlightened person, her third eye is open. This is somebody who has been spiritually awakened. This person might like to stay at home. They might be a good cook. They might uh, just hang out at home a lot. Over here, we have the watcher. Uh, actually, I think this is the feminine and this is the masculine. I don't think you're both mirroring the same right now. I think this is, okay, so this is the masculine. The masculine is watching in private. He is um, mesmerized by this dancer. The masculine may be working on issues of low self-esteem, of just kind of uh, rolling into a ball and pushing people away. Uh, they may have a short temper, things like that. 
and they see um they see like some sort of connection with this person on how to fix that how to like the spiritual connection between the two this masculine may have seen this feminine fix this within herself and he's like oh my god this it this is it this is for real and now he's like uh addicted to her i see him like totally staring her down because she has found the key and he's he wants the key okay All right. Oh, look at this. Okay. So the twin flame connection has been acknowledged by the masculine. Um... Here's the twin flame card showing up. This is how deep the birds are in the vibe right now, guys. Those are two parakeets. All right, so the twin flame card is showing up. We have the feminine showing up here with the happiest card in the deck and because she knows how to unlock the box. We have the masculine showing up here feeling like a dunce. He may have had to deal with a kind of a uh, another third energy, kind of a lording um, masculine energy that makes him feel bad, or he was dealing with some sort of uh, masculine or father issues, that kind of thing. But he, ha he is closing the curtain on that, or he has. Ha <clears throat> and he's trying to figure out, he, he may have screwed up in some way where he flung himself onto these uh, power lines, and gotten like a tricky situation with this feminine somehow and he's trying to figure out how to end that and how to come to her okay there's the crow all right Uh, we have life, magic, mysteries, surprise of the universe showing up here. This is straight up the magic of the universe dropping in right now. Okay, somebody's looking in at some sort of, um, okay, I want you to see how this is laid out. So see how the crow is looking over here at the hooks? Okay. The crow is not looking at this person over here. So this may be some sort of a third person. It may be somebody, uh, somebody has dealt with in the past. It might be an ex. It might be a current person that somebody needs to get rid of. So what it's showing is the thirsty lion drinking in the scummy pond. Could be a Leo, doesn't have to. Uh, the jealous woman. Somebody spying and watching in the dark. And all sorts of anxiety. This is a person. This is a person who has dealt. This is one. This is either you or your twin flame. Uh, this is the person who has dealt with this person in this past, this Leo or whoever. It doesn't have to be a Leo, but whenever I just see the lion and it's Leo. Uh, so this person has dealt with this, this jealous person in the past. And this jealous person is a lurker. They're a spire. They're somebody who causes anxiety, low vibey type uh, things. And this person has realized that what this what this other energy does to them and so uh they it had made them feel like they were drowning and so they pulled themselves up out of the water spread spread their wings and they took a look they really took a look at this relationship with this person that makes them feel so much anxiety and it happened it's the shift is happening because the universe sent in the hook the universe sent in a hook. Uh, the hook is enchanting, alluring, uh, getting swept off your feet. So the universe sent in a new person for whoever this is, probably the twin flame. 
uh, or a soulmate, uh, one of the two, sent in a new, if this is your twin, then, then they sent in a soulmate. If, if this is an ex and this is your, your twin flame, then they sent in the twin flame. All right. And drop my anchor. And this is where I'm staying. This is my home. Okay. Okay, so we have the masculine over here looking at some kind of burden. Uh, we have the burden bear here. The burden bearer is carrying around this pile of sticks on its back. But if we look really closely, the sticks are not touching the bear's back. They're just hovering above. So this bear uh, has some sort of psychological burden, some sort of curse, something they're dealing with right now. Um, and that burden... That burden and the masculine are both looking at the pirate. So it could be that um, the last reading I did with the crow and the thirsty lion could be one person that they're dealing with. It could be the feminine was dealing with this or vice versa. And the other person or the masculine is seeing this thirsty lion as a pirate. There's a third party that is coming into play that's a that's a low vibey. They're a nasty. They're like, or they're reflecting on nasty behavior. <sighs> what is it? It could be different for both. Oh, I just looked at. They pulled the sword from the stone. Okay, so this. Okay, so this masculine had maybe been like a pirate to the feminine. Had said some not so great things. Uh, not been the best kind of person, and it's burdening them now. They have pulled the sword from the stone and they see now the truth of the situation. They're trying to have the anchor of hope is here showing it with spirituality. So I think um, this is just part of the awakening process, part of the um, masculine realizing uh, how he may have done this feminine dirty. He may have uh, been a pirate. He may have made fun of her. He may have not understood what was going on or something like that. But now he totally does. And the anchor of hope is showing up for him. Now we have the feminine here. She is enlightened. She has elevated up from any sort of nut behavior. <laughs> and the anchor of hope is showing up for him. That's about it. Let's see. Okay, we're getting to the end. Okay, I may have to stitch these together, guys. This is a long one. And this is happening because two people made a wish. Okay. people made a wish for each other. Um, they may have wished on a star sometime in their life. They may have held hope. They may have um, held on to this anchor of hope. This is where I'm staying. This is my home. This, these people have not given up. They've wished and the universe heard it. Uh, the, the, uh, these people have some sort of influence um, over they may be speakers, they may be talkers, they may be something, they may be uh, teachers of a class, something where crowds of people watch and it's a beautiful thing. Uh, we have one person over here trying to come up with a way to how to knock on the other person's door because they find this person incredibly sexy, they may have, have cool taste in music, and uh, they love them. I see the heart. You might be super turned on by this person right now. 
And then at the bottom, it shows some things that these two might need to, uh, are working on um, maybe releasing. Uh, we have somebody, probably the feminine, showing up with a, a nasty male energy around them. And we have the masculine showing up with uh, maybe a Leo. <laughs> uh, with something, just a kind of a blurry outlook of an idea of happiness. But they really want a solid happiness. They don't want this abstract happiness. They want something solid. All right, Libra, there's your reading for today. Let's see what the universe has to say about this twin flame relationship. All right, what does the universe have to tell us about these two? Ooh, sorry there. Whoa, that flew, flew, flew. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. They sure are. Libra, if you find you have um, some sort of creative endeavors, if you find you have uh, other things that you're working on, um, and they're going really good, they're blowing up, they're taking off, just take, just take that as a sign you're doing, the, you're doing a good thing. You're listening to your emotions, you're, doing, you're following your gut, that, all those kind of things. You know, if things aren't going so great, maybe you could reevaluate some sort of uh, what, are you, is, what is your current outlook? Are you um, vibing high? Are you keeping your anchor of hope? I'm pretty sure you are. You're a Libra. All right, Libra. Peace out. Have a good day today. Love ya. Bye-bye.